Hey, you beautiful people out there. How's everyone doing tonight? So I got off work and I'm thinking about uh, options that are in front of me, right? I am in a very fortuitous place. I've got this new job. It's treating me well. I'm making more money than I ever have. Um, it's in line with my career goals in the IT sector. Great. Um, and where I'm working now will pay for a master's degree also really cool but then the question comes in why <laughs> why get a master's um, in my line of work certifications have value absolutely experience is king um, a master's could be useful in some regards maybe if I went for statistics say well that's amazing you're gonna have a lot of fundamental background information to go into different research roles. Um, a PhD would be preferred for those, obviously. Um, but, uh, like, say, machine learning work. Statistics will take you a very long way. And, you know, I can I can uh, open a start menu on a Windows machine, so that's helpful. Uh, <laughs> and there's, there's multiple options, right? Like, I find accounting really fascinating. Um... But with a degree like that, why? <laughs> I've been in the IT field now for years. And do I need to add a CPA to that designation? Like, How many skills do you need? Some opportunities you just have to learn to pass on. Like, it's okay if you're never an accountant. Uh, could be useful in some regards. If I ever want to start my own tax consultancy, sure, sure. But... Again, why? Play to your strengths. Open up an IT consultant firm. Like I, I don't... I'm less sold on it than I was, say, a week or two ago. I was like, wow, the accounting program looks really cool. I'm going to learn a lot for um, how this works. Because there's, there's lots of questions I have when I'm looking at accounting through a financing lens. I've spent the last two years studying for a CFP that I'm never going to earn because I do not have nearly the work experience required for that certification process. I find finance and economics two very different things, but I find both of them very fascinating. And an accounting degree would expand my knowledge in that regard. There's a lot more people that go the accounting route and then dive into finance than people who go finance and dive into accounting. Uh, and frankly, I see accounting as a little more practical. But again, why? Uh, a master's degree by itself would be pretty neat because then you can teach at a university as a lecturer. That's nice. That's what my wife does. Uh, and it'd be cool if we had a similar schedule. She says I probably wouldn't like teaching because you wouldn't care about the job, she says. Uh, in certain cases or certain subjects, it'd be boring. Right? I'm like, well, I mean, who hasn't had a boring job? <laughs> I've, I've done my fair share of those. So <laughs> that that doesn't bug me, but she makes a really good point that if you're not interested in the master's degree program itself, if you're not interested in what you're doing, you're, you're not going to be passionate enough about it to maintain it long term. You're just inviting that discomfort into your life of, of disliking what you're doing with your time. Fair. Sure. So the idea that I had today, what brought that conversation with her about was getting a master's in education. I, it checks the master's box so I could be a lecturer and we'd be on similar teaching schedules, right? Um, it's a year long program reviews online. No offense to anyone with their mats or that's an MAT or uh, a master's of education. No offense to any of you, but online it was saying it's very easy. To get, and I'm working full time and I got kids at home and I'm like hey checks the master's box and it's easy to do why not uh, but she makes a lot of really good points like, don't do that to yourself if you're if you're not just gung ho about teaching in general why are you getting a master's in education sure sure uh, so we've covered statistics and education and accounting and um, another one I was thinking of, actually, I wrote down a bunch of stuff because I've been thinking, oh, like uh, a master's in IT, right? Or in computer science. Yeah. Yeah. 
Maybe. <laughs> if you're gonna do it in IT, why? <laughs> because you, you, experience is king, okay? If you need more qualifications, go get certified in whatever tool or skill you're learning. That is gonna be way more cost efficient than the masters, even if my employer is paying for it because of the time involvement, right? I don't see the point behind that at all. Uh, so, one more option, and then I'll continue with my point. Another option with the master's route is an MBA. That, honestly, on the drive home, has the most validity for my future career endeavors because it pairs very well with my IT background. If I never go into management, it helps me with a side hustle becoming a main career path, sure, because uh, I understand the ins and outs of business a little better. Um, if I do stay in IT and I go down a management route, the MBA opens a lot of doors. So that's cool. Um, Difficulty-wise, it ranks probably comparable to the master's in education, maybe a little harder, but not nearly as hard as the statistics master's. So that's neat. Um, it's the most appealing right now because of all the reasons I've listed. Uh, and the, the reason I'm thinking about this, this whole master's thing in general, is because tuition is incredibly cheap with my current employer. It's on the table. It's part of my compensation package if I want it to be. So I'm just weighing the pros and cons. Like, is this something you actually want or something you... If you want it, that's great. Do you need it? Do you need it for any of these things? And that's arguable for all of them that I've mentioned. But uh, the do you want it part is where I get caught up. Because I'm... I'm becoming so disillusioned with this idea of like money only comes from being an employee. Uh, I've experienced what it's like to work for yourself. Great. And I, I don't know why I would put so much effort into a master's degree that makes me a better employee. Even if the MBA could be applied to being CEO of my own business, that's fair. Um, when you could just focus on building your own business. Do you see what I mean? You're putting all this effort into the master's degree when you could be putting all of that into your side hustle. It's a good question. It's a really good question. It's like, do you need the master's at all? If your focus is to be able to teach with your wife, well, then yes, you need at least the master's. Yes. If your focus is financial freedom, I don't think you need the master's. <laughs> It'll be helpful if you stay working for other people and want to move into a management position with the MBA. Sure, sure, sure. But if you're working for yourself, if that's really what you want to do, if you, that's what you want, is to not have a boss. Your boss is the millions of people in the world who could be your customers. Sure. I don't think you need a master's for that. So that's what I'm thinking about right now. Is is the juice worth the squeeze? Is the, the uh, payoff worth the cost? Because while I'm here working... It's basically free. So in in 40 years, will I look back and be frustrated like, ah, you should have done the masters. It was free. Or will I look back and go, I'm glad I didn't put my effort into a master's degree and I focused on building my own business and working for myself. And why not both? <laughs> Work full time, raise a family, get an MBA, and start a business. Holy cannoli. <sighs> Do they have caffeine you can just inject right into your neck? I I don't I don't think I don't know. I I guess maybe I'm underselling myself or feeling a lack of confidence, but I don't know how you would juggle that. But I'm awesome, so maybe I could. So <laughs> Uh, what do you think? Do you have any experience with this? Have you attained a master's degree? Have you started your own business? Have you, uh, did you ever regret either? Let me know down below. I'll let you know what I decide in the near future. Um, I have to decide very soon because deadlines for our applications are coming up. And Lord knows if I wait a whole year thinking about it, I'm just gonna work on the business anyway. So thanks for watching. 
Good luck out there. Everyone stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Go learn something. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.